to the channel I hope you're all doing well um, I'm going to apologize that the video is a day late there was a funeral yesterday because there's been a well there's been a death in the family as you could tell and yeah so it was it, it was a bit of an emotional day and I didn't I didn't actually know what I wanted to do the topic on but having a day to wait I thought I'm just gonna give my opinions on Warcry now that we've got it in hand and you know we've got it we've got the books we got everything and I think after this weekend we've got all the factions that are coming out for now and I'll get on to that after so yeah it's basically it's gonna be my impression so yeah let's just get on with the show right then guys um week one of pre-orders we saw the starter set we saw the cypher lords we also saw the corpse rack mausoleum and we saw the um faction cards for all the additions to the war bands like we had the stormcast eternal for the ninth haunt the gloom spikes all able to join in on this epic epic board game um going by gw prices and this is pound sterling it was a hundred pound um if um it was better to go to your uh, local hobby store support your local hobby store um and I believe this week we got the rest of them coming up. Now we got the Splintered Fangs, the Unmade, and the Corvus Cabal. And we're also getting the Stormcast Vaults as well. So it looks like we're getting a, a smaller version of what was released a couple of weeks ago when Forbidden Power dropped. Which is always a plus because it always adds to your, uh, your main AOS collection then. Um... I picked up the Warcry starter set and I gotta be honest, personal opinion, I believe the box set is phenomenal. There's some good, there's some bad, you know, it's, the models are highly detailed but some, some of them are so finickety to get into the position, it's, I just don't see how they could, you know, especially with card design, making that that picky where you've got to like create two halves to be able to put it back on. There's no there's no need for it to be like that. Even like personally, I know I love the models, and I'm probably a GW fanboy. But if they could have made it easier by cutting out some of the details, I would have happily have gone without some of the de details. Um, and on top of that the assembly guide for the ruins at the trash I gotta be honest it's you're better off looking up uh, on YouTube how to build the how to build the ruins because the book doesn't give you any type of clue it gives you two examples and it's uh, gives you two examples and then you would guess how to do the rest of them. So I'm not I'm not too impressed with GW on that one. They normally really good with their instructions, but no, that was unnecessary. That was that was it was awful. Like I I created the two examples and then I made my own. So I know I'm not going to be exactly as the battle plans do, but I have made the scenery personal by doing that. Granted, I can always pick up another scenery set from someone and complete all the uh, different ruins but I don't really see, I don't see the need because you've got so much scenery for the size of the board you're playing on which uh, is included in the set it's just phenomenal it's already you know saturated with the blocking train and you know, you can climb up it, you can jump off it, you got the stairs, well, it's, it's got a bit of everything in it. So, it's phenomenal. Um, but like I said, it's starter set, we've got the core rulebook, 
we've got the models, we've got the scenery, we've got terrain, we've got oh, as many token, dice, rulers, cards as you could ever want in a starter set. And for £100, brand new game system, it's phenomenal. i got to be honest, I, I'm really impressed with it. And I've been looking at the rules, I'm going to be getting the game in this weekend, hopefully. I've convinced... Uh, a couple of mates to sit down and actually play it and you can see that this hasn't been you know that this wasn't another game system which they've just tweaked and changed they built this from the ground up so I, I can't praise it enough it's a completely brand new system based in the AOS realms so, you know, all the factions, all the other armies that are coming into it, is going to be known to you, but it's a completely new way to play. So, I, I, I can't praise it enough. And by picking this up, you've got a lot of scenery, you've got terrain, because the boards, I think, you could put them together, if you've got two of the same, and put the ter ter terrain on there. And you could play um, the meeting engagements game. So it's the size, really, to have a thousand points each as well. And, you know, if that's another one of your uh, hobbies is big battles, AOS style. GW have, I think, breathed new life into an already excellent game system. Because they've given you a different view. It's, I don't know, it's... I know the, the, the biggest money maker is uh, 40k and that's where all the cool kids go is play 40k but I think AOS has got such an abundance of character already and it's, it's a fairly new system and then you've got this on top it's I don't know what to say it's I gotta be honest, it's an amazing system and quick second, I gotta have a drink of tea. It's an amazing system that everyone should try at least once and I think you try it once, possibly twice and you're hooked. It's phenomenal. I'm gonna be getting everything painted up quickly in between doing my my uh, halflings for our RBBL league. And I will be getting this up on the channel because I think this is amazing. I, I can't say that enough. It's, like I said, it's the pro, the biggest pro you got is it's a complete brand new system. You get scenery. You get a board to play on. It's really character, characterful models from all the different realms. They're all chaos, but they're all from different realms. And in case if, if nobody uh, knew about it as well, in the book we have two new factions which they haven't mentioned to us before, which are called the Scions of Flame and the Spire Tyrants. So, again, that's something they can expand on in the future. So, I can't see this disappearing soon this is not going to be go chosen or uh, blitz bowl or any any derivative of previous games i think this one's going to be around a while this is i think this is going to be a classic in the making you know and i'm so thankful that you know i'm able to see it at the beginning of its you know of its climb to being a modern classic on miniature gaming and I know that's a big thing to say, but yeah, I totally believe this is going to be something to look forward to in the future. Um, but that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a game system which is going to be around for a while? Or do you think this is going to be a bright spark in the beginning and then it's going to fizzle out? So, you know, your opinion, opinions count on this channel, so, you know tell me down below and 
we can have a discussion about it. I can set up uh, Streamlabs, we can have a live stream. I'll paint, drink tea, you guys give me your opinion. And then we can take it from there. We want to see as much as we can for Warcraft on this channel. I think it's fantastic. But am I the vocal minority? What do you guys think? And that's it guys, that's the end of the video and like I said, I want to hear your opinions on what you think the future of Warcry is. Do you think it's a hot minute and then it's going to be a quick fizzle or do you think this is here to stay, it's just going to be its own little mini system in its own right. Um, I know it's been a bit of a ramble tonight and I do apologise, uh, normal programming will resume. I, I do promise that um, but yeah uh, I'm going to say thank you again now for being with me and thank you for watching the other videos on the channel and stay tuned because we've got some things well, I, I reckon they big you might not there's some big things happening on the channel I'm going to go back to uh, Blood Bowl report and we're going to have some other reports like Warcry in the future and hopefully I can start getting the live streams back up and it'll give me an incentive to finish painting every other army that I've got so thank you for listening thank you for bearing with me thank you for leaving a comment if you did leave a comment and I shall see you in the next video Take care, everybody.